What's cracking guys? How are you doing? So back with another session and this session was slightly more fun than the other ones because um, I did some fun exercises of course and I think that's what you should do if you want to have fun workouts and stay motivated because you don't want to go there and do boring stuff but mostly things are not boring so starting off with squats and um, I played around a little bit with my stance on this day because I want to try to well towards the 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 end sets I I did uh, go slightly bit wider with my stance and pointing my, my feet slightly more outwards just to see if I could activate my glutes a little bit more and also with the wider stance trying to eliminate as much background lower back rounding as possible because the more stable and straight I can be in my back, the entire back, the better off I will be. Because I don't want my back to round anytime during the lift because that will make me not stay as tight as I possibly can. And um, I felt it worked quite good. You will see towards the end sets, as I said, um, if you can notice any difference, at least I could feel a difference and it felt better for me also I'm doing this without the belt because the loads are relatively light for my one rep max and also I want to train up my core a little bit because directly I haven't trained my core very many times at all during my uh, working out at the gym period of time <laughs> I basically you can basically count the amount of times that I train my core on two hands so to speak so, uh, I'm trying to move as fast as possible without letting my ass shoot up first. So, if I feel my ass shooting up, I will try to control it as much as possible and that may, and may sacrifice speed because of that. But, as long as I'm doing it correctly. As you can see here, this is a treadmill stance. And I can feel that I run my lower back slightly less. And I'm very happy about that, so I'm gonna play around with that, see how I like it, and uh, evolve from there. And then after the normal squats, or competition squats, I did some pause squats. And as I said, uh, I don't want my ass shooting up first, so I'm doing, doing them as fast as I can without sacrificing form. Because I could do them slightly faster than that. And after that, bench press my beloved bench press uh, today I did pause on the first rep and then the rest of the reps was touch and go because I'm gonna do some more touch and go from now on uh, since I'm not really in some peaking phase and um, I've also done touch and go in the past so they're quite fun and I'm focusing on barely touching the chest sometimes I'm not even touching the chest because I don't want to bounce it bounce it off my chest I want to move the weight all by myself and was going pretty damn good just tried on my SPD uh, wrist wraps as well because I feel like I'm gonna use them instead because they they are so long and so tight if I wrap them hard that they make my wrist uh, stay in a better position uh, which my uh, shorter old ones doesn't really do so I think it's better that I just always use them this, these ones so so that I practice the same way every single time and then after the bench press I did some log press because I am very interested in strongman and uh, we have a log so I'm gonna use it and uh, it's very fun and I like it and uh, I haven't tried it very many times at all but I hit some nice PR today I'll, or uh, I hit one nice PR today which wasn't really very nice at all but it was PR and I'm happy about it and um, it wasn't really in my program to hit the PR but I just felt today is a good day today I'm gonna hit a PR today I hit a PR and it was all good so here is like 80 kilos and um, uh, that was on my program. These two was not. So this is 90 kilos. This is 
this was the PR time and it threw up pretty damn easily so I figured I want to give 100 kilos a try because 100 kilos is three digits, three digits and who does not want to do that. I have cleaned this rep up to my chest before but I haven't pressed it and um, it was kind of hard cleaning it up but I didn't got it overhead first time so I did it another time which would probably be legal in a strongman competition but not powerlifting so thanks for watching make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos and we'll see you guys in the next video